All right, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a little package I received for the Wii U. Uh, so right now we're going to unbox this motherfucker. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I really need this. <laughs> I don't exactly think I need a knife to, uh, it looks a little beat up, uh, but, you know, hopefully everything works out well. It's kind of like opening up a Christmas present more than uh, anything else. They didn't really do a good job, uh... <laughs> Actually, uh, wrapping it, I guess. A piece of paper, and that's it. No good for that, uh, whatever. But here it is. It is a controller converter for the Wii U, allowing you to use either a PS3, I believe, Xbox 360, or mouse and keyboard on the Wii U for games that support classic controllers. Uh, seems like it's mostly for shooters. So that would allow me to play, like, Call of Duty games uh, with this. I don't know if it works for the Wii side, but seeing as it's a classic controller thing, it should. Well, at least they wrapped it inside. Let me just pull this out. They didn't seem to have a lot of these. Uh, they only had one, but manual. Um, so, let's see what we got here. Seems like a USB cable. Uh, USB cable. Yeah, I don't know if he yeah, has a certain type of USB cable. I don't know if this is like a power for power. I guess maybe it needs uh, external power somehow. But yeah, it has like one of those USB cables uh, like that. And then here we have the device here, and this has the. Uh, Classic control. Okay, so I don't know. I guess you plug this into your uh, Wiimote. And uh, there's the USB. I guess that's an input. And these two things here are like sensitivity and stuff like that. So that's good for like, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, changing the sensitivity. And then we have four, I believe these are four inputs uh, to, con to convert your um, your stuff, whatever. So I guess this gets plugged into a Wiimote, and then it converts it to a class, it sees it as a classic controller, and then you plug whatever controller or uh, keyboard and mouse you want to in here. Um, this works with wireless keyboards, and I just have to find my nano receiver and all that fun stuff. I have a wireless mouse. Uh, I need to find my little nano receivers that I've lost. Uh, they got to be here somewhere, and once I do that, I will show you how this works. <clears throat> as long as it does work but of course if you see it on YouTube it worked so there you go got these two buttons here I don't know what those are for but but basically <clears throat> one thing I want to uh, talk about with this is um, this will allow you to remap your controls uh, however you want um, say on a keyboard, I guess it works, you can remap it on a PS3 or Xbox 360 controller. Um, and this would let you use like an Xbox 360 controller on Call of Duty and stuff like that. So that'd be cool. Uh, there's uh, there's like default modes, it's, it's uh, complicated. One thing that I'm not going to use on this and I'm not to, I don't know, that I, that I think it's a good feature but some people may like it, but it's kind of a cheating kind of feature, and uh, I don't think anybody's going to buy it just for that. It's a little expensive. This thing was like 70 bucks or something, or a little more. Um, but basically, you're, you can map things, specific uh, actions, to one button. Say, like, you wanted to map a drop shot to one button. So you can have a one-button drop shot, or uh, maybe a, you could pull... you could you know, pull the trigger, you know, uh, press the tr one of the triggers, and it would aim down sights and shoot at the same time, instead of doing both. You know, so I'm sure you could use that for cheating, and I think there's like a turbo fire option, like, I, I think, I don't remember. But, um, I plan on using it for mouse and keyboard support. Um, my PC is not powerful enough to handle, uh, Call of Duty, uh, what is that, the one that I have on the Wii, uh, blah, blah, blah. Used to have Black Ops 2, but I sold it because I'm trying to get the PS4, which I don't think I'm going to be getting for a while because I think they're holding off uh, till Black Friday to take those things out, and then they're basically going to have like a limited amount, 
and the only people that are going to be able to get it are the people, the rabid people are going to be there, like, fucking, you know, two days in a row camping or something outside with a, with a, a sniper rifle. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, I'm not getting that for a while. Anyways, that's, that's not what I was talking about. What was I getting at? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I was getting at something. Probably was important, and I don't remember it, but... Yeah, oh yeah, that Call of Duty um, Ghost doesn't work on my PC because my PC is not powerful enough because uh, they decided to make it, you know, so that you need a supercomputer just to play. Even though now you you, you only require uh, less, uh, what is it, 4 gigs of RAM now instead of 6, but I actually, if that's one of the specs I need, I have 6 gigs of RAM. It's the graphics card that I don't need. Everything else I need, just not the graphics card. But anyways... So I'll be finding everything, and I'll come back and, and show you how this this thing works. All right, so I have set the uh, the uh, Max Fire converter up to the Wii U, and now I've mapped out all the keys on the keyboard and the mouse. Uh, you can map them however you like. You can even map more than uh, one key to more than one key on the keyboard. So if you have if you want to map a to D at L, you can actually do that, so that is possible. So I want to show you the, see if I can get this in the thing, but um, press W, and you see the cursor on the screen moving around. Okay, so that's, that's working. Now I'm going to select Call of Duty by hitting Enter. Enter is mapped to A, if I can actually show it on screen. And that should bring up Call of Duty. And then I have that actually mapped out to uh, the uh, mouse. I don't have the best mouse or uh, mouse pad. Uh, I also have turned off the aim resist <laughs> uh, no, aim assist I've turned off because it is of no help for the mouse um, so if you think someone's cheating with aim assist on a mouse they're only making it harder alright so we got the uh, setup let me just hit enter bring that up and I got the um, I got the uh, ar up and down arrows mapped to the right or a left analog stick as well as WASD is mapped to the uh, right analog stick, just to try to make it seem more like a uh, PC. And now, uh, well, I'm actually going to show you uh, multiplayer, but I'll show you right now just like a, um, a match by myself. I'm not going to go into single player with this, so I want to make sure if I do single player, I'm actually going to be sitting down by myself not making videos. Oh, I thought it stopped working. It's just this game lags a bit. It's annoying. Um, so we're gonna go for a local play. Enter and hit enter to start the match. And then I'm going to show you the mouse moving the uh, the gun and everything. And I'll show you how to how I can. Yeah, this is my shitty little Logitech wireless mouse that I think I got for like under 10 bucks. So it's not the best, it's not the smoothest mouse in the world. Ugh. I've adjusted the sensitivity also because the um, the default sensitivity isn't the greatest. So we have, let me show the mouse <laughs> movements and... And to switch weapons, I'll show you the wheel. Switches weapons. And uh, we have the movement. Now, like I said, it's, it's kind of choppy because my mouse and, and my uh, mouse pad is actually all chewed up like a dog ate it. But uh, that's that. I'm going to do a little, that's going to do a little thing by myself. And I'm going to go online and uh, try to play. Uh, 
It seems a little weird online right now, but it seems to always seem that way with, uh, let's see, like that. Uh, it always seems a little weird uh, in this game. This game is a little rough online. Uh, I'd have to say it's worse than Modern Warfare 2 online. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here now. Um, there are some limitations to the controls because it's not like a PC, so it's not set up exactly like that. So if I want to back out of this, let's see. I hit... Okay, so that, that, that one works, but... It says leave me. Okay, so there are some times where there's certain things, if you want to back out of them, you have to use the shift button. And also, when uh, running, the shift button I have set to run, but it also jumps. So in order to run, you have to be going forward, and then you can hit the shift button to run. But if you just hit the shift button, he jumps. So if you hit it by itself, he jumps. So let's, let's get out of here. Okay, like this. In order to back out of this, I have to hit shift, or I can't back out. So, but that's really it. Uh, so I've been able to get everything mapped as close to the PC style thing that I, whatever. Uh, I also have F is to respawn, R is to reload, WASD, you know, and move around. I mapped the grenades to Q and E, uh, and melee is uh, to click it, clicking the middle mouse button. That's normally not how it is, but I actually prefer it that way. Uh, let's go for a team deathmatch. I'm having a little trouble finding a game here. And this is not actually in any way improved the game that I'm playing. In fact, I've been doing worse, but it's fun. It's not impossible or anything, it's just... I think the game has been shit right now. What? Do you want to camp with us? Yeah. Can we camp? <laughs> uh, toggle mute. Mute these motherfuckers. Before the game starts, I have to listen to them. Alright. There's been a lot of campers today, too. <laughs> a lot of camping. Oh, God. In this map, they're going to be camping their balls off. So, and I can't see anybody as well. <laughs> I cannot see a fucking soul. Um, so. <laughs> and I want to set this up with it on my monitor for my PC. I wonder what it would look like on a smaller screen. I imagine it wouldn't be as jagged looking on a smaller screen, so my monitor is a lot smaller, so it probably look better. Except for, you know, sometimes the, the bigger it is, the better it looks, even if it's a little more jagged. Just because it's bigger. Alright, so... I hate when I'm running around and these people are running and I get kind of stuck on them in a way. I also have this screen brightness down. So for the camera, so I probably will have a harder time seeing what the fuck is shooting at me. My own guy, or is it? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got a kill. Uh -huh. I'm gonna look for some campers because there have been a lot. Uh, I have the sensitivity fairly high. I may want to adjust it a bit, but. Uh, it seems to be better if it's higher. I think if I got a better mouse, it wouldn't be that necessary. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see. The map isn't showing anybody. Probably because they're all sitting in the windows or something. I don't hear. I don't hear or see much going on. See that? That's how camping helps you. You basically get no kills. Just sit in a window and wait for somebody. And if everybody's camping, then forget about it. Look at this guy. My guy in there camping. Fuck you, asshole. Oh, God. Yeah, I hope I distracted you and you got killed.
Ugh. I don't know, I thought there was a chance that guy might have been still alive, but uh, that wasn't the case. Uh, uh. I guess that's our guy's stuff. A little paranoid, I guess. Oh, gee, look at this, this stupid motherfucker. Piece of crap. Let's see, anybody actually outside? I might as well just be sitting here playing with myself. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> by myself, with myself. Let's see, what camper got this guy? Oh, look at this fucking faggot bastard. Ooh, I'm hiding. Fuck you. Look at this. People in the fucking windows. Oh, they're all in fucking rooms. I definitely need a better mouse. I have to apply some pressure to this mouse to get a smoother movement or it starts to kind of jump. And that's how it is on my PC as well. Um... Oh, that's my own guy. Suck a dick. Fuck! What did he, what did he fly? I think I'm playing a little nervously right now for some reason. <laughs> it's like, where is everybody? God damn it! Right. That, that sucks. Sucks to be me, huh? Wish I knew where anybody was. Alright, so apparently nobody's playing. They're all fucking hiding in windows and shit. Alright, yeah, sure. What was he doing? Alright, whatever. At least he was moving. Shot in the back. Got a little game for ya. It's called Shot in the Back. Oh, come on, you fucking fruity piece of shit. Look at this guy crawling around on a fucking roof. You wuss. See, as you can tell, it's not really, you know, any real advantage from playing with a mouse and keyboard. Um. Oh, great. Wonderful. I love that. Like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. No, I'm not. What in the motherfucking hell? Yes, everybody's gotta sit in a fucking window. And nobody fucking move at all. So it's very hard to play when everybody's sitting in a fucking window. And all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, there was somebody sitting in a fucking window. Oh, he's fucking laying on the roof. You? I gotta get that guy. Fucking laying on a roof. Really need to find that guy and put a bullet in his fucking skull. This is annoying. Get up. Right, I saw that guy in the fucking map when he's sitting there. Saw the guy in the fucking map. And he, uh. And I just basically ignored him. Fuck! Look at that. Oh, he must be dead. That guy must have killed him. Oh god, that guy on the roof! Or whatever, I don't know. Where did he 
go. You went this way. You went that way. You fucking wuss. Oh my god. Everybody's gotta hide. Fuck. Well, in order to use this, by the way, you need a uh, regular Wiimote. Where's this bitch camping? Right. Look at this pussy. But anyways, you need a Wiimote. Uh, the old, you know, a Wiimote. <laughs> you need a Wiimote. Because you have to plug it in. Or actually, you have to plug the uh, converter into the Wiimote. And uh, basically the converter acts as a classic controller. Whatever. And, uh... Then you could plug in your keyboard and remap all the controls to your liking. And uh, one feature that I'm not a big fan of is the ability to cheat, which means you can actually map specific actions to a specific one button. So if you wanted to map a drop shot to one button, you have one button drop, drop shots. The other thing is uh, turbo fire, which, in my mind, that's kind of cheating, especially when everybody else doesn't really have that option available. I think that most people wouldn't be using this though because of the price. It's a little much for a converter box. Especially not buying it, it just for cheating. That's you have to really be hard up for this game if you're fucking buy, spending eighty dollars to cheat on it. I just like the idea of using a mouse and keyboard on. Uh... Finally, Jesus Christ! Fuck you and fuck you. Finally. Now the thing is, I'm having trouble getting my uh, my tactical equipment to work. I don't know why, but the tactical equipment doesn't work. And if I have a SATCOM, I can't use it. Oh shit. That's my own guy. Fuck. There was somebody behind them. Uh, let me see here. No, I can't get my... Can't get my SATCOM to work. It's down on the D-pad, but I mapped it to one, but it seems that it won't work. And I don't know why, but it doesn't want to work. But, yeah. So that's that's the big downside, is having trouble getting my tactical equipment to actually work, and look how terrible I did. <laughs> Let's see. No, there's no advantage here. <laughs> I think there's more advantage with the Wii mote than there is with the mouse and keyboard. I mean, you're pointing at the screen. So there you go. That's that.